Hello everyone, today we're going to cover esophageal viruses. We're going to go over high yield points with the USMLE Step 3 expects you to know about esophageal viruses. And we're also going to cover two frequently tested questions related to esophageal viruses. First of all, look for a presentation. Patient pre usually presents with painless and bloody vomiting. It is usually seen in patients with cirrhosis. Now, USMLE Step 3 will not tell you that this patient has cirrhosis. They will give you the physical description of a patient. So look for a physical patient physical description such as splenomegaly, spirorangiomata, pulmonary erythema. Uh, stepwise management. Um, first step, give patient IV actorated. It lowers the portal hypertension plus ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin lowers the mortality. If patient continues to bleed, then do upper endoscopy with ligation. If patient continues to bleed despite endoscopy, do TIPS. Uh, contraindication of TIPS is hepatic encephalopathy. If patient has a hepatic encephalopathy, do not order TIPS. TIPS also causes hepatic encephalopathy. So complication and contraindication of TIPS is hepatic encephalopathy. Once the bleeding is under control, make sure to give non-selective beta blocker for paranol because it decreases the frequency, bleeding frequency. So there are two frequently tested questions. If the patient is bleeding and question asks which of the following drug will lower the mortality, answer is ciprofloxacin. If the bleeding has stopped and question asks which of the following drug will lower the mortality, the answer is propranol. So you make sure you pay attention to the question. Both of, the, both of these drugs lower the mortality but ciprofloxacin lowers the mortality if patient is still bleeding and propranol lowers the mortality if bleeding has stopped. 